Hey there, it's Joe. So why use different surface footage and RPM when machining? Why not just max out your RPM and go to town? Well, it all boils down to heat. Heat can prematurely wear out your cutter or cause material to build up on it. It's important to know that surface footage is used when calculating the RPM at a given cutting diameter. For more information on this, please be sure to check out my other video. Now let's take a look at the material being cut and how it affects the heat produced. Different materials will have a different amount of resistance to being cut and will generate a different amount of heat at a given surface footage. This heat on soft materials such as aluminum and plastic can cause the material to come off in a molten state and this can then build up on your cutter and cause for a bad situation. On harder materials though, such as steel, you don't have to worry so much about the material building up on the cutter but the heat resistance of the cutter being used will come into play. Carbide, for instance, has a higher heat resistance than high-speed steel, enabling for a higher surface footage to be used. Coatings can also increase the heat resistance of the cutting tool at the cutting edge. It can also help prevent buildup of material on the cutting tool. Coolant helps dissipate the heat produced when machining and allows you to use a higher surface footage. It also helps flush the chips out. These are the factors that affect what the maximum surface footage can be. Going too high will either fry your cutter or cause material to build up on it. You can always go lower, but that will lead to longer cycle times. So you need to weigh cycle time versus tool life when determining the surface footage to use. Also, if you got material building up on your cutter, and you're not using coolant, then use some coolant. If you're using coolant, lower your surface footage. Hope this information was informative. Thanks for watching and take it easy.